Uh, <laughs> so we're gathered in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with you, Spirit. So good morning. Good morning, Father. So today is the feast of uh, Saint Martin uh, de Poor. Uh, so it's a um, very auspicious day because uh, Saint Martin is um, the uh, patron saint for racial unity. So, uh, and it's uh, interesting that the election day will be on his feast day. So, uh, uh, and this morning we've been asked to pray for Sister Margaret Jude, uh, who l last month was celebrating uh, her feast day. And if we can also pray for Lisa, who has just been uh, diagnosed with cancer. And so if we can remember them in our prayers, and let us ask the Lord to listen to all the prayers we have in our hearts. Lord Jesus, you always hear and answer us. When we call out to you and we fail to recognize your voice, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are merciful and compassionate and call us to be the same with others. When we have fallen short of this, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, our faith is sometimes weak and small and we often struggle to do your will. For those moments, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who led St. Martin the poor by the path of humility to heavenly glory, grant that we may so follow his radiant example in this life as to merit to be exalted with him in heaven. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again, rejoice. Your kindness should be known to all. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, Make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Then the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be God. Responsorial Psalm. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. O oh Lord, my heart is not proud, nor are my eyes haughty. I busy not myself with great things, nor with things too sublime for me. In you, In you Lord, Lord, I have found my peace. Nay, rather, I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child like a weaned child on its mother's lap. So is my soul within me. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. In you, in you Lord, Lord, I have found my peace. peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. Mm. 
and the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and prophets depends on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, the, uh, so today is the feast of uh, Saint uh, Martin uh, de Poor. And uh, so the, um, the patron saint of uh, mixed races and racial harmony. Uh, so him, himself, he was, uh, he was of mixed race. He had a Spanish father and a, a freed African slave uh, mother. And, uh, so the, um, and because he was illegitimate and uh, the, uh, he was of mixed race, he was uh, abused all his life, and so he knows what it is. The, um, and uh, when he eventually joined the Dominicans, the, um, one of the novices always refer to him as that mulatto dog. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, the, um, so even in religious communities there was, uh, uh, there was a racial uh, tension. So the, um, so, and he's often prayed to in times of racial tension. And maybe he's a very fitting um, saint for, the, uh, for these days. And we should be praying in earnest uh, to him, uh, these, uh, especially in this time. So when he was two years old, his mother gave birth, birth to his uh, sister, uh, Juana. And uh, at that point, the father abandoned them all and left them to a life of poverty. His mother used to take in washing uh, to support the three of them. And when he was old enough, the, uh, he was apprenticed to become a barber surgeon, uh, same prof profession as uh, St. Luke, the evangelist. And um, barbers uh, were surgeons uh, because they had the sharpest knives. Uh, and so the, um, and most, most of it at that time was bloodletting. Um, they used to, uh, they thought that cured nearly everything, but uh, uh, as we know, it, it didn't. So, um, so Martin was always religiously inclined, but under Peruvian law, uh, it was forbidden for anyone um, of mixed race, uh, African descent or Native American descent, uh, to become a full member of a religious order. So all that uh, Martin could do was um, to become a donado. Uh, that is, you uh, volunteer uh, to work in the monastery. And uh, so that's what he did. He became uh, uh, a donado and uh, did all the, the most menial jobs in the, um, uh, in the monastery. The, um, or the priory. Uh, Mendicant orders uh, call them priories. And uh, so the, um, uh, but because of his uh, previous experience of being barber surgeon, uh, he soon found his way into the infirmary and was looking after people there. And uh, so, and he had a great talent for it and a great patience. He had great patience uh, with all the, the people there. The, um, but not only uh, amongst the, uh, uh, the brothers in the Priory, but also people from outside. He looked after sick people outside and he would go and beg for arms uh, to get the, uh, uh, what was ever necessary to treat the people. And uh, so, the, um, uh, and so he, he often uh, put sick people in his own bed. He'd uh, bring them in off the streets, put them in the bed. And uh, the superior um, kind of uh, forbade him uh, uh, to do that. And uh, so the, um, so the, uh, <clears throat> and he, he, he always used to retort um, that the uh, compassion is better than cleanliness. Mm -hmm. And so the, uh, <laughs> So the uh, so he continued to, to do that, and uh, 
So, but he was forbidden to bring anyone uh, else in, and uh, but he did, and uh, the prior found out about it, and uh, told him off for being disobedient, and Martin uh, said to him, "Reply, forgive my ev error, and please instruct me, for I did not know that the precept of obedience took precedence over that of charity." So. Uh, so it was the prior that was uh, kind of humbled and he gave him carte blanche to do uh, whatever after that. And so, and it was only after 19 years being in the community uh, that they actually accepted him um, into uh, the order. And, um, and so the, uh, he was uh, received in as a, a lay brother and uh, much to... Uh, um, the discontentment of um, many of the community, but uh, Father um, Juan uh, de Lorenza, he uh, uh, admitted him, and uh, so the, uh, he be finally became a lay brother in the Dominican order. And uh, so he's a, he's a man that looked after uh, the poor people, slaves, the uh, prisoners. He uh, um, very much in touch with the people and it was much loved in Lima. And so let us pray for him today. Let us pray to St. Martin de Porres to ease the racial tensions in our societies today. May his intercessions with the Lord bring back peace, we pray. Lord hear us. Like St. Martin, may we always keep charity our highest priority. We pray. Lord hear us. We pray that all people of mixed races be accepted equally by all races. We pray. Lord hear us. We pray for all the medical staff who look after our sick brothers and sisters that through the intercession of St. Martin, the Lord will bless them in their caring ministry. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, us. hear us. Today is election day. May it be free from all disturbances and be conducted in an orderly, dignified manner. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear us. us. And let us make our own special prayer now to the Lord. Today we honour the life of Saint Martin and we thank him for teaching us that charity is the highest work that we can do for the Lord. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given the human hands have made, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. And let us pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the history church. And let us pray. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, 
whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, that by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time as betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for many, so that sins will be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you've held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her husband, St. Joseph, with the apostles, the martyrs, St. Martin, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray now in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every fear and evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety to wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. So peace, peace. 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 Lamb of God, you, you take away the, the sins of the, of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy, you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
And let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So in the parish back home uh, in Ireland, um, they uh, decided to go on a mystery tour. And so uh, they all got on the bus and they were setting off. And uh, the leader of the group, he decided uh, that what they do is have a little sweepstake. And so uh, he got a hat and everyone had to put in um, a, a, a dollar and, uh, to guess where, where they were going. So the driver won $53. <laughs> so let us uh, ask the Lord to bless us now, be with us, and to be especially mindful of our families and friends. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. May the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let's go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Thank you. Thank you, Father.